Hey what's up guys welcome to iOS Pro Hacker again I am back with another video so as you know that beta version of iOS 14 has been released few days ago and a lot of people has upgraded their iPhones iPads and iPods you know that beta versions are always full of bugs with stuck problems boot loop problems and much more so I have decided to create a video to show you guys that how you can down upgrade your iPhone from iOS 14 to iOS 13 without losing the data. So first of all you need to do is to download and install iTunes on your computer. To download it just visit itunes.com. You will also find the link of it in the description of this video. After opening the iTunes website, just tap on get button to get it on your computer. And after installation, just open the iTunes. You can search it on your start menu. All you need to do is to connect your iPhone to the iTunes and tap on this phone icon. Now you will see this screen. Now if you don't want to lose your data, so you must create a backup of your iOS device data by clicking on this backup now button. Make sure this computer option is selected from here. So then tap on the backup now button. It will going to create a backup of your whole phone. So we can then easily restore the device data later after downgrading. So after iTunes create the backup of our phone successfully, then tap on this check for updates button. So then iTunes itself will download iOS 13 file. And when the download will complete, iTunes will start downgrading your iPhone back to iOS 13. It's very simple. This is the iTunes method to downgrade. But if you don't want to use iTunes because the topic of our video is to show you the downgrading process without iTunes, now it's time for that. So there is a software called Tenorshare Reiboot. You will find the link of it in the description of this video. So you can download it directly from the description. It's available in Windows and Mac as well. And it is used to restore, upgrade, downgrade your iPhone. And this software will solve all kind of other problems as well, such as upgrading, downgrading, stuck at boot loop, recovery mode, DFE mode, white Apple screen, black screen and much more. So now just download it for your PC. Mm, all right, uh, the software installed. Uh, now let's connect the phone to the PC to start fixing our iPhone. So if you see here, uh, this software can be used to fix a lot of problems of iPhones, iPads, iPods. It's a big list of issues in Apple devices. So this is a very nice software and easy to use. We always have a lot of issues when we upgrade our phone to the beta version and sometimes the latest version as well. Uh, sometimes we upgrade our phone and it is stuck at recovery mode, iTunes logo, Apple logo. But right now our issue is to downgrade our phone back to the iOS 13 from iOS 14 because iOS 14 is in beta and definitely it's so buggy now tap on the fix button and uh, you can see again tap on the fix button now this tool will going to download a firmware file of an iOS 13 to get your iPhone downgraded as you can see here it is written iOS 13.5.1 so this tool will download this iOS 13 version now you just need to tap on the download button to start downloading the iOS 13 So the downloading process may take time depends on your internet speed. Uh, it is downloading the file of 3.5 GB. So it's a huge file. Do not disconnect iPhone uh, during this process. iPhone, uh, you know, let the software download first. And after the download completes, this tool will going to start downgrading your iOS device back to iOS 13. Do not disconnect your iPhone during this process. Otherwise, your device may stuck on the boot loop or recovery mode. Uh, so then you will need to start the process all over again. So now just wait for it to complete. You will see this loading bar on your phone. 
If you are unable to fix your device or you are having any problems in fixing your phone, make sure to change the USB cable or USB ports or use iTunes to fix your iOS device instead of Tenor Sherry iBud. So let's wait for it to complete. The repair process is completed and this is how you can easily downgrade your iPhone back to the iOS 13. Now all you need to do is to set up your iPhone. It may ask you to select your language, country, network, Wi-Fi, passcode. Uh, so now just set up your phone and don't close the video because next I am going to show you that how you can get your previous data back to your iPhone. So this is important step for getting our previous iPhone's data back to our iOS device. On this step, you need to select the option that how you want to transfer restore your apps and data on this phone. Uh, so we're gonna select transfer from Mac or PC. Now after selecting this option, you may see this type of screen or you may see different one, but don't worry. Now all you need to do is to connect your phone to the computer and on the computer uh, you need to open the itunes and in itunes you will see this screen so select restore from backup and select the most recent backup from the list and uh, now tap on the continue button so the itunes will start restoring your previous data to the phone uh, so just wait for it to complete it may take time depends on how much data you have do not disconnect the phone and after that, uh, your phone will restart again and it will ask you uh, then uh, for some information to set up your iOS device. So all right after setting up your iOS device you will see uh, the home screen with all of your previous applications uh, so all the data applications photos videos contacts messages notes is back to the iOS device uh, as you can see so this is the way you can downgrade your iPhone from iOS 14 to iOS 13 without losing the data thank you so much for watching the video see you later in the next video don't forget to like the video comment the video and subscribe to the channel